Well, this bright sun made me think about fall safety when you're talking about combines and tractors driving on the road, and then there are cars that think they're going to pass, and then they're blinded by this sun. And <laughs> Now, it gets a little dangerous around the farm in the fall, and we wanted to discuss farm safety a little bit, especially if you're a non-farmer and you're going to be driving on these roads where farmers are also going to be driving this fall. How should you handle things? Well, well there are always a lot of questions and a little bit of frustration, too, when there's a large piece of farm machinery moving down a paved highway. If you're driving down the road and you aren't a farmer, you're probably thinking, man, why do these guys have to drive on the paved roads? Why don't they drive on the gravel roads? And why don't they drive over on the shoulder or down in the ditch or something like that? Well, let me stop you right there because if you have a piece of farm equipment, you have every right to be on the road as any other car or pickup or anything like that. But more importantly, farmers have to stay on the road rather than on the shoulder because if they don't, they basically give up their legal rights. And let me just explain. So let's say I, I decide, well, I'm going to drive on the shoulder to stay out of the way of most of the traffic. Well, what happens if you want to if you want to pass that piece of farm equipment and right at that point there's a mailbox coming up on the side or some big washout on the side and that piece of farm equipment has to swerve back out onto the road. That could be very troubling. That's why when we were growing up our dad said, you know, I know that it, it doesn't necessarily seem right to do this, but driving the tractor down the road, you have to drive in your lane and keep your equipment in your lane and don't drive over on the shoulder. Sure, you might have to hang part of your equipment over on the shoulder just because you've got a wide load but you want to be in the road so you have those legal rights and so if somebody's going to pass you they have to go into the other lane just like they would pass a car. Well the frustrating th part sometimes when when farm machinery is out on the road is it's going pretty slow. Uh, a yep. lot of times you're running 15, 20, 25 miles an hour with this big farm machinery. And believe me, when you're in that machinery, it feels like you're going pretty fast. There's a lot of things to watch and you are fairly wide. But when you're coming up to a machine that is traveling slow, oftentimes you'll see that slow moving vehicle sign, which will give you a tip off that you're going to be coming up to a vehicle that's not traveling fast. You are required to slow down to the speed of that machine before you move around yeah, and, the pass. Yeah, and that's something most people don't realize. They figure, oh, they can just pass it. But when there's a slow moving vehicle sign on the back of a vehicle, Legally, you have to slow down to the speed of that vehicle before you can go around and pass. So I know you may not have been taught that in driver's ed, but that is the law. Well, think about the safety. When you're coming up at 55 miles an hour and something's running 20 miles an hour and you pull out to pass really quick, you can get into big trouble in a real hurry because think about it, you're passing farm machinery and there are fields all around on either side of the road and maybe that tractor is heading to this field or that field and it's going to make a turn. You really don't know. You have to play it safe. One other thing that we wanted to point out is a lot of the newer farm equipment does have turn signals on it. So when you come up behind a piece of farm equipment, you might not really be looking for something like that, but please do because most tractors will have that on there. Even some of the implements will have that. So you might see turn signals on there. If you don't, if you don't see any turn signals on that piece of equipment, just pay attention to where there are some driveways. The thing that we really wanted to point out here and, and help you just try to keep in mind is most farm equipment is only going a couple miles on the road. So chances are it's going to be turning off fairly shortly and I know it might slow you up to stay behind a piece of farm equipment. You know, it might slow up your day a minute or two or something like that. Believe me, as a farmer, I wish I didn't have to be on the road either. I'd rather have some paths through fields so I could just get from one field to the next, but it just doesn't work that way. So we kind of all have to work together. The fall harvest season doesn't last very long. We aren't going into these fields very many times, and then we're done harvesting those fields. Please just give us give us a break in the fall I, I, and, uh, and, and try to be as safe as you possibly can because the last thing we want to have happen is to have farm farmers or non-farmers hurt during any given fall. Well, in the fall, you're going to see lots of field equipment moving around. You're also going to see some sprayers moving around, and the reason why may be our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 